Alright, so I'm having a difficult time pushing and pulling my vacuum cleaner. And basically that means the self propel is no longer working. And 9 times out of 10, if that's happening, it's most likely the belt. Now, do physically look on the back of your vacuum and make sure that there's nothing holding it like a, a big piece of carpet. And make sure that you can spin it. And if you know that it's not being impeded, then you know most likely it's the belt. Right? here so some of them will be right here so the only thing you have to do is just replace the belt now this particular model is a bezel and you can look up the model it's usually on the back but it it basically will show usually back here or sometimes on the bottom so my bezel is right here my bezel model number and that's what you want to pull out and so it doesn't matter what kind of vacuum brand that you have this method will work so you're only trying to replace the simple belt and a belt you can usually get on Amazon for like five bucks or six bucks. Now you might still have a belt when you got your vacuum. Usually it'll come like with one or two, and you might have it tucked away in with your instructions. So look at in your closets or wherever you have the instructions for your vacuum cleaner and see if you have an extra belt around. If not, not a big deal. Uh, you could easily replace it for five to six bucks. And but that's the reason it's having a hard time self-propelling and moving it back is because the belt's not working. So most models are very simple to replace and the belt will go line like this and there'll usually be a protector cover on here. And the only thing we're going to do is unscrew these screws with a little flathead or a Phillip head screwdriver and then we're going to replace the belt. Now I've already ordered mine off of Amazon and it's about six bucks. Free shipping from Amazon Prime. As you can see there, it looks a little bit like this. Now, if you want to find the exact model number of the belt, you can just pull up the model number, like I said, on your vacuum cleaner, plug it into um, Google, and just say belt for this model number, and usually it'll be the very first one that'll show up. Usually you can find the manual for your specific vacuum cleaner, whether that's a bezel or whatever brand that you have, or better yet, actually remove the belt first from your vacuum cleaner and then it usually will have the model number on the physical belt itself it'll have it usually in white on here and that's the best way to go ahead and pull it from the broken belt and plug it into Amazon seven screws in all and that should just pull off and you might as well just clean everything off here clean it out all right that pulls off it is a possibility if the belt's not broken and a lot of times you'll be able to physically see that it's broken it'll hot like hang out of your vacuum a lot of times what will stop it from self propelling is like hair. So you can see this big wad of hair here could actually be impeding. Okay, from here, what you want to do, this is the belt side, which is the which is going to be the right side if you're facing towards your vacuum cleaner. You want to actually loop this around this little metal piece that's right here. The belt goes on this end, and there's going to be like a little small metal piece that you can see right there. So what I want to do is first wrap my belt around that and then I want to wrap it around the vacuum part. So as you can see here, here's the vacuum part and this is where, and this right here and this right here is where the belt goes around. So let's go ahead and first with the metal piece go ahead and pry this belt around the metal piece first so as you can see there, that's a snug fit. See that? And then from here, I'm going to wrap this part around the belt here. Let's see right there. 
so as you can see that. And then, from this angle, I want to pull really tough to get it back in that groove. Uh, it does take some muscle to do this. So I'm going to so try to get this end, the end opposite of the belt first end. There's like a little groove in there. And then I'm going to force this other part of the belt onto this other groove. And that's difficult. It does take some muscle. Okay. That popped in. Then let me work on this side again, the non-belt side. There, it goes into that little groove there, the non-belt side. All right, let's screw seven screws. So with my vacuum cleaner, this is actually the culprit. It wasn't actually a broken belt. It was just this clump of, of human hair that was around it. Now, the, the, the little tool, the round cylinder thing was still able to spin. That's why I was confused. I thought it was a belt. But it was actually just a lump of hair. But you will still have to take that part, the cover apart, and remove the hair. Just get some scissors and just cut, this, cut it off. As you can see there, this is what was causing my belt not to function and not to self-propel. Alright, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.